In calculus, how do you take the derivative with respect to x of some integral when the x is in the bounds of the integral? Well, you could just memorize the fact that it would be f of x. However, I know you and you're lazy. What you need to remember is that an integral of a function from a to b is just going to be the antiderivative of that function evaluated at b minus the antiderivative of that function evaluated at a. And if you take the derivative with respect to x of the antiderivative of that function of x, well, that's just going to be the original function and the derivative and antiderivative will cancel out. In this case, this means that this problem is super easy to solve. Because if we are trying to find the derivative with respect to x from 0 to x of our function evaluated at t dt, well, the integral of this is just going to be the antiderivative of this function at the top bound, which is f of x minus f of 0. And we are going to be taking the derivative of this entire quantity. But remember that we could just take the derivative of the parts individually, so that's going to be d dx of f of x, where capital F is the antiderivative, minus d dx of our antiderivative evaluated at 0. But this is just a constant because we're taking a function and plugging in a number. So this is 0, and we know here that this is just our original function, so this is going to be f of x. QED, we've just done the fundamental theorem of calculus. Now that you understand how this works at a fundamental level, you could do much more complicated problems, like what is the derivative with respect to x of the integral from cosine of x to sine of x of t squared dt?